Did you ever see something that you never think you'd see again? You know where I'm going with this? You know where I'm going with this? Right there, ladies and gentlemen. My drone. My drone. There it is. The Phantom 2. Back from the dead. Uh, looks like it's got a couple Really just one really badly broken propeller and then two propellers with some significant damage to them. So who knows? Uh, doubtful that it still works. All right, Phantom 2 drone. Just recovered after being outside in the elements for two years. I changed the battery to the spare that I had, which somehow is still four bars charged after two years. Will it start? That's promising. <laughs> now, it's obviously not going to fly, or fly well anyway, because it's got some busted up propellers, but this thing looks like it may actually work. Lights are going. We're going to see if it can get a GPS signal. Wow, I didn't even think it would turn on. Oh, my remote might be dead. That might be it. The batteries in the remote are dead. I'll be back. Try to get a GPS lock. See if that function works. Right now the gimbal does not appear to be working. I should have checked. Ooh. Looks like we have GPS though. And I'm going to start up the motors. Well, good news is we're at three out of four seem to be fully online. Engine four seems to be glitching. Alright, so this engine seems to be uh, in need of some some work. I think if I get some new propellers, this thing might be airborne. That one motor is still pretty slow. I don't know. We're just going to clean this up. It's got a lot of dirt on it. All right, just installing uh, an update. Basic calibration. All right, so supposedly it's calibrated. The GoPro definitely has water in the lens, so I'm not sure what the image is going to look like, but it turns on. 
and I can adjust the mode. It's charging right now off of the drone battery. Appears to be recording. There's only one thing left to do, and that's bust out these propellers. Let's roll. All right, over two years since it last flew. We got it all cleaned up, new propellers. Let's see if she'll take off. So there it is, the Phantom 2 is back in the air and we've got more in store for it. I've got some big plans. Stay tuned, I'll keep you posted. Um, I want to thank my neighbors for helping me out. Uh, there were a couple down the road that helped me look for it and then of course Paul who found it and contacted me and gave it back. I really appreciate it. A um, couple pieces of advice, some takeaways, some lessons learned. Number one, make sure you put your name and your phone number or contact information on it because you never know, you might lose it and somebody might find it and be nice enough to give it back. Um, number two, don't fly it on a windy day if you have a drone and yeah. Alright, and to end the video I'm going to show you the final flight of the Phantom. The final flight that is before I lost it. Uh, what happened that day? Turns out it did kind of come back towards my house when I tried to get it back uh, but the wind blew it kind of off track and then I didn't see it and I couldn't hear it because the wind was blowing too hard and anyway you'll see it ends up in a tree uh, but got some good crash footage and I hope you enjoy it um, two years in the making thanks for watching and have a great day see ya